Hey everybody, welcome to my first video on uh, how to upload a lab file into EvenG. Uh, the lab file that I'm going to be using is in the uh, link to it is in the comments below. Uh, feel free to go ahead and download that to, to use as the uh, example. Uh, it's a fully configured lab for routers uh, running OSPF. Uh, and I've already downloaded that uh, file. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is log into EVNG. And as you can see, I don't have any lab files uh, created in this uh, environment yet. So what we're going to do is find the little import button and click on it. And from the desktop, we're going to go ahead and select the new lab file zip. Go ahead and open that, and you'll see that it pops up on the top of the screen here. Next, we're going to go ahead and click Upload, and you'll see the progress bar and success when it's complete. And then the lab file is here for uh, for you to click on and use. So let's go ahead and select that one. I've got a little topology there. We'll scroll down to the scroll down to the bottom and uh, click Open. As you can see, we've got the four routers, one, two, three, and four, all interconnected. Uh, like I said, uh, we've got loopback interfaces on everything, IP addresses configured, OSPF, uh, and these devices here are running VIOS. Uh, so if you don't have VIOS already installed in EM EVNG, uh, you can go ahead, uh, search the web, and uh, get those files and install them on the, in your environment. Let's go ahead and start up all these nodes. And these do take a little bit to, to load up. Uh, they're getting going here. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some of these guys up so we can see the information. Router two and router one. Now all of these uh, all these devices already pre-configured with enable secret passwords and uh, username of NetOps. Uh, that information will be uh, available for you down in the comments as well. Uh, all the passwords uh, for the enable secret as well as the NetOps account are Cisco, all lowercase. Uh, so we're waiting for these guys to boot up, and as they do, uh, we should see interfaces come up and the uh, OSPF neighbor relationships uh, start to form and then we'll just step through uh, step through the configurations and take a look at a couple of things before we end this uh, first video Interfaces are coming up. As you can see here, we've got the VIOS installed. Uh, this particular version is 15.73 M3. And there's our OSPF neighbor relationship starting to come up, loading from, uh, transitioning from loading to full. And we should be able to start logging in. I was just going to start off with enable and password of Cisco. And we're, we're in the device. So we do a uh, show IP OSPF neighbor. Oops, helps if I could type OSPF neighbor. And you see we've got three neighbors. Uh, neighbor to router two, neighbor to router, oops, neighbor to router three, and neighbor to router four. Uh, if we do a show IP OSPF interface brief, we can uh, see some of that same information uh, over here shows you that these guys are neighbored up. And then it gives you the interfaces that they're neighbored on. So gig zero two, is going over to router four 
gig zero one is going to router three and gig zero zero is going to router two. Now the way that you can tell these, uh, the way I IP addressed uh, these devices uh, is 10 uh, router one and then the third octet is the router that it's going to. So 10, one, four, 10, one, three, and 10, one, two. Uh, show run, pipe in section router. We'll give you your router information. Uh, so this is what we've got configured on the device. Uh, a router ID, auto cost reference bandwidth. Uh, we're default passiving uh, the interfaces. And then uh, no passive for the interfaces that we want to form uh, neighbor relationships on. Uh, and then a broad stroke network statement, just saying anything in the 10, 10, 0, 0, 0 slash 16 address space is going to be uh, available to form a rela neighbor relationships on. So let's go over to router two and we do the same thing. Enable Cisco for the password, show IP OSPF neighbor three neighbors, router three, enable, Cisco for the password, show IP OSPF neighbor, three neighbors, and router four, enable, Cisco, show IP OSPF neighbor, three neighbors. All right. Uh, let's do a quick show IP interface brief. And you see our IP addresses are set up. We've got loopbacks. Uh, and everything is good to go. So uh, again, uh, the information is down in the comments for downloading this uh, lab file, as well as the uh, username password information for the uh, devices. Uh, again, we're running uh, VIOS, um, so if you like the video, uh, I, I hope you like the video. Uh, thanks for watching.